and a good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you, the good and the wonderful people of the Tube. Hope you're all doing, hope you're feeling grand, and always around your world. I am here today, people of the Tube, to talk to you about our beloved gain and distortion, and why I use so much of it, hence the video's title. Simply, I love sustain, and I love the guitar to sing, and I can't do that if the guitar's clean. So, when it comes to distortion or fuzz, I crank it. The more gain, the better, in my opinion. Uh, there's been a kind of a thing recent, in, in recent years of kind of like gain being turned down, distortion being turned down, and fuzzies being turned down. And I've always been of a brain pattern of going the other way. I've always liked loads and loads and loads of gain. I love stacking gain into gain and gain and gain and gain. I love it to bits. It just makes me very happy. And for the way I want to play, it's perfect because what it gives me is almost infinite sustain. Not quite infinite sustain because it will go off into feedback, which I love as well, which I'll talk about in a minute. But I just love that thing of like hitting a note and it just letting it bloom and, and, and sing and just go over you know what I mean? Instead of kind of like having to keep keep, keep re-hitting that note, it just carries. And I love that. So with my distortion pedals, if you've seen recently in the pedal board videos I've been doing, I always, on my distortion pedals, have the gain wound up to 10. Uh, and it's the same with fuzz pedals. When I use the uh, the Hubcap John uh, Sundial fuzz, both you know, volume and fuzz are on 10. Um, you know, uh, if I use another fuzz, it's invariably on 10. The only fuzz I don't run on 10 is the double muff, but that's because I run it in a different way, which I've spoke about. Uh, but if I do run that into an amp, I just crank it to 10. Anyway, uh, straight into an amp, you know, not using other pedals. But simply, I just love loads of gain. I just love how, it's, how it, 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 it makes the guitar sing more. And I like the fact of, like, for instance, like uh, with like a Boss DS2, you you can't stop, no pun intended. Um, once that thing's on, you can't do kind of staccato -y lead blues lines where you kind of go, da -da -da -da, da -da -da, with stops. You can't do that because it, there's so much extraneous noise from that pedal being cranked to the, the teeth that if you stop, it just goes, da -da -da, ah, da -da -da, ah, it's like that. That's a great impression. Anyway, um... But yeah, that's that's what I like, is that ability to kind of like, you know, if you turn that on, it has to flow, and it has to go with it. But I like that. I don't like it when the guitar just goes, dun, dun, dun. It's cool in some occasions, but most of the time, it really doesn't work for me. I really don't like the way it feels. I like to be able to hit a note, let it bloom out, and let it stretch over whatever I'm doing. And then obviously playing fast and stuff like that comes at the right, you know, the, the points where music wants me to go there. But invariably, music wants me to do really long kind of sustained notes, like, you know, that kind of, that kind of thing. And, you know, like a Gary Moore kind of thing. And I can't do that with a semi-clean tone or an overdriven tone. You know, I want it, I need loads of distortion. And I just love the way it feels under my fingers to play with loads of distortion. I always have. You know, if I plug straight into like the say the orange here or the Marshalls or whatever amp I go, I invariably just crank the gain all the way up uh, on the distortion channels. You know, and then just use the volume control to clean the amp up, uh, just because that's that's what I love. It really is what I love, and I am here today, people of YouTube, to recommend to you to go out there and turn your distortion pedals and fuzz pedals to ten. And have fun. Another thing I love that you get with that is feedback. I've played with a lot of guitarists over the years that will say, if your amp's feeding back, you've got too much gain. Not necessarily. I want my amps to feed back. I love feedback. I love interacting with it. I love bending it. I love doing tremolo arm stuff with, with feedback. I just love feedback. Growing up, well, learning guitar listening to people like Jimi Hendrix, John Fashanti, you know, all these people who use feedback to their advantage, Kurt Cobain. Um, I just love it. It is literally one of my favourite sounds. It really is. It's one of my favourite things to do on a guitar as well. It's just let it feed back behind me. Let it swell out, you know. I don't even have to play a note. Just hit a note, let it go into feedback, and just let it just envelop, and let it just develop whatever it's going to be, it's going to be. And I love that. That kind of... Um, unpredictable nature of feedback i adore it to bits and again 
you can only really get that where you have oodles and oodles of gain, and I love that bit. I love just kind of hitting on the DS2, and it immediately goes into feedback. I love that. I don't like hitting on like a distortion pedal, and there's no kind of discernible difference between the gain structure. It may be a little bit more gain, but not. But I love loads of gain. I really do. And like I say, I'm here today to tell you to go out and crank your distortion pedals up, and crank your amps overdrive up, or distortion channel chat if you've got that, and crank it to the teeth. You know, it, it's there's so much in it, and I just find it feels nicer. It feels like um, I just feel softer and warmer to me to play with gain than it does clean. Clean to me feels always very sterile and kind of plink, 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 and I don't like it. It, it. it doesn't give me what I feel like I want, so to say. Um, it's not a bad thing at all, but for me, it just doesn't work to play clean. I just don't like it at all. So when I could kick all of these, these distortion pedals, because sometimes I'll have four distortion pedals going, uh, it makes me so happy. You know, inv invariably with the trio, when the trio play live, I'll run the Golden Plexi, the Marshall Governor, the Double Muff, and the DS2 all at the same time for certain parts of songs, just because I want as much as I can get. And if I could get more pedals on there, I would do that as well. I would add more, uh, because I love it. I just love loads of gain. And um, it can be a little bit scary, sometimes uh if, if you especially if you've not not done it because it kind of turns into kind of a bit of a banshee because it's like, kind of wailing banshee and it's kind of hard to control but it just takes a bit of kind of um learning to turn things off when you don't need it turning it on when you want it turn it off when you don't volume control as well on the guitar it just all it takes a bit of kind of like learning but i really recommend it people with tube turn the gain up you know um i just I just think having it low or turning a fuzz down low, you lose so much of the character of that effect. And the thing with the thing with like certain effects is I like drastic effects. I like loads of delay. I like loads of reverb. I like loads of gain. I like uh, loads of overdrive. I like loads of uh, like the Mel Nine, for instance. Or I like loads of chorus. I don't like subtle. I like things to be very very abrupt, and you can tell something's different. Or something's on, even wah. You know, I don't like when things are kind of on, but you can't really hear it. I, I don't really like that. I like things to be quite drastic and kind of kick out there because I just, again, that's just the way my brain works. I, I like it more, and it's kind of what music wants from me as well. So it doesn't want things to be subtle, which I like. And uh, I'm very grateful to it for that. So thank you very much, music. I love you. Um, but yeah, people of the tube, honestly, crank it. It's so much fun. It really is. Enjoy the feedback. Enjoy the notes blooming. Enjoy the sustain. You know, really let it sing. You know, let it take a breath and just go, let it go. You know, it's it's so cool. And uh, I've always done it as well. I, I don't remember when I didn't ever use a distortion paddle flat out. Uh, or the DS2 flat out. I've always had the DS2 cranked to the teeth. I've never not used it mildly. <laughs> anyway... I just wanted to quick, do a quick video on this and just explain why I use so much gain. Because a lot of people ask, how do I get so much dis uh, so much sustain on my uh, my intro jams or the songs I do or, or, or whatever. And it's simply, I have loads of distortion pedals. You know, I invariably have three or two, you know, uh, and invariably they're both all at the same time uh, just to give me loads of sustain. Uh, and that's how I do it. There is, there's no, there's no trick to it. And I learn it from people like Gary Moore and Jimi Hendrix and John Fashanti and people like that. You know, uh, Gary used to stack overdrives as well. I mean, that big long note in Prison Walkways is control perfectly controlled feedback from having distortion. You can't do that clean, you know. And I, I like that. I love that kind of thing. And they're the guitarists I always wanted to sound like when they just. The, they hit the notes and it just screams and it sings and it just goes over and it stretches and sustains and it's just beautifully gorgeous. Oh my God, I'm getting carried away. Anyway, uh, but yeah, there you go, people. Cheer. I just wanted to address that in a video instead of just kind of like, you know, kind of not or just replying to comments. I just thought I'd do it and that's why I thought I'd you know, name the video what it is. So anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, everybody. I'll see you, uh, is it next week now? I don't know where I am anymore. I don't think it is. No. I don't know. I don't know. I'll probably see you tomorrow. If not, I'll see you on Monday. But I don't I don't know where I am. I ain't got my calendar, you see. Without my calendar, I'm lost. That is literally, I need that thing. Anyway, 
If I don't see you tomorrow, I'll see you Monday. But I think it is tomorrow for Q&A Wednesday, but I could be wrong. Anyway, but people with tube, honestly, crank things. You won't regret it. Honestly, it's so much fun. It takes a bit of getting used to, but it's so much fun. It really is. And again, I just find it's easier as well. I find it, it's like laying down in a comfy bed. And it just, it just takes the edge off for me. Uh, and I, I really love it. So, And that's how I get so much sustain on these intro jams and stuff. And let those notes really sing. Um, it's just by cranking the game. Anyway, uh, have a great morning, afternoon, good evening, everybody. Uh, uh, if you like the videos I do on this channel, please consider becoming a patron at Patreon. Link to that is in the description box below. Other than that, have a great one. Goodbye now. Thank you much for watching. Oh, turn up again. Turn it up. 10. Turn it to 10. Or 11, if it goes to 11. There is a Marshall JCM 900 that goes to 20. Spinal Tap, it's uh, Nigel Duffel's signature. If you've got that, turn it to 20. Anyway, goodbye now. Thank you much for watching.